morning. I'm on Interstate 37 southbound, heading into Corpus Christi, Texas. This morning, we're going to check out a free camping location at Labonte Park. It's administered by the Corpus Christi Parks and Recreation Department. I will chime back in as we approach our exit. About 3.8 miles out from our exit, we're going to take exit 16 off of Interstate 37 heading south. There is a low clearance bridge um, coming into Labonte Park. If you attempt to access the park heading north on Interstate 37. If you have a big rig, you're, you're going to want to access the park heading southbound on Interstate 37 and you'll bypass that low clearance bridge coming into the park. I'll show you um, I'll show you the low clearance bridge in detail once we arrive at the park. I'll chime back in as we're uh, pulling off of the interstate onto our exit. Okay, we're coming up on our exit. See the sign off to the right there, Labonte Park, one and a half mile, exit 16. In half a mile, take exit 16 toward Labonte Park. Take exit 16, then merge onto I-37 Frontage Road. onto I-37 Frontage Road, then turn right onto I-37 Frontage Road. Turn right onto I-37 Frontage Road, Railroad Avenue. In a quarter mile, your destination. place to park here. And I'll give you a walking tour of Labonte Park. Okay, I've just arrived at Labonte Park. This park's administered by the Corpus Christi Parks and Recreation Department. It's right off of Interstate 37. And again, if you have a big rig, you're going to want to approach the park from the southbound entrance. There's a low clearance bridge that you'll run into if you attempt to access the park uh, northbound on 37. They do have free camping here. It's by permit only. The permit's easy to get. You don't have to go down to the uh, city hall can call them or email them and they'll e email you back a permit. Completely free. I believe, I believe the camping limit is three days and I hear it is possible to get an extension. There's the park rules. Let me give you a walking tour of Levante Park here in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's pretty windy out here. Uh, Typical for the southern part of Texas. I put my lavalier mic on. While we're still here at the entrance to Labonte Park, I wanted to show you the uh, riverfront and this picnic area they have. In a moment, we're going to be heading down that way. That takes you to the RV camping area. But uh, I took a walk over here, and uh, this is a fairly scenic river. We have uh, picnic tables all up and down the river here. Uh, 
That's the river heading down toward Corpus Christi. There have been fish jumping in this river. And there's uh, the river heading north. And I believe the RV camping is right along the river there. There's the picnic area. So I'm going to hop back in the truck and uh, take a ride down to the uh, RV camping area. Let's go check it out. like they're planting some new trees in here. It's a fairly long park, so I thought, thought I'd show you some dash cam video heading down toward the RV camping area as we go down through the park. And off to the left is just a continuation of the uh, picnic area along the, along the river. up at the end there, fifth wheel. Oh yeah, they have quite a few trees they're planting here. This is one of the RV sites. It's not a bad looking site, right by the river. So I'm gonna pull in right here, park the truck. And I'll give you a walking tour of the RV camping area. Right there where that fifth wheel is, is the first camping area that uh, I came to coming down the road. It's right along the river there. And right next to it is another camping spot. I parked my truck in there. But uh, you can get just about any size rig in there. And it even has a paved walkway with a picnic table going right out on a river. You got a garbage receptacle. I saw the uh, city empty emptying the garbage cans this morning. There's some kind of fork in the river. It's like we have two bodies, uh, maybe a creek flowing into the river. There's a waterfowl right over here. Here's a little bit of better vantage point of that RV camping spot. You have plenty of room there, uh, surely to get your rig uh, on the on the asphalt pad but you do have some overflow area there and uh, there's your picnic table back in there really nice setup scenic rv camping completely free at labonte park in corpus christi texas just up the road here we have another free camping spot This one doesn't appear to be as large. Let's go check it out. Sites are fairly level, so you should be able to get your rig level. 
you're just coming in for a night uh, really this would be a pretty good stop right off the interstate easy on easy off and uh, that low clearance bridge I was talking about is right up there but that's only applicable if you intend on uh, attempting to enter the park from the heading north on Interstate 37. If you're heading south, uh, it's not applicable because uh, you won't need to go underneath that underpass or overpass. Okay, so here's a look back at the campsite. You can see my truck parked back at that other site we were at. But uh, really nice free camping area here at Labonte Park. Let's continue to walk up and check some of these other campsites out. Here's the next campsite we run into. Plenty of garbage cans. Each one has a picnic table. Uh, I like how they put the picnic tables right out here on the river. There big fish just jumped out there. Yeah, you can see these waterfowl all over the place. Got a white bird over in here. Just waiting for breakfast. Very scenic. Here's a look back at that same campsite. They are not numbered. I don't see any numbers on them. So, uh, I looked online, it appears that they have 20 sites here. So I guess they uh, make sure they don't allot any more than 20 people for the free camping permit. And uh, I guess it's first come, first serve. Let's uh, continue down and check some more of these campsites out. Here is yet another nice camping spot, perfectly level. Got a nice camping pad there. There's your picnic table. Looks like we got a little cutout here going down the river. Yeah, it looks like uh, some people were fishing down in there. That's a look back up at the campsite. Next campsite up there on the left has a uh, Class A Winnebago in it. Let's go up there and then we'll check that uh, low clearance bridge out. I, I backed up a little bit to give you a, a little bit better vantage point of uh, that campsite. And I'm noticing on this particular one and really all the way down through the park, but uh, you have these uh, street lights, so this is going to be lit up pretty good at night. Really nice. Here's the campsite where the Winnebago is parked. Again, perfectly flat. Right there by the river. Really sweet free camping spot here at Labonte Park, Corpus Christi, Texas. Here's the last camping spot uh, that's uh, nearest the, it would be the northbound entrance and it's closer to the interstate. You can probably hear some of the interstate traffic. Let's go down and take a look at the river here. I'll go up and take a closer look at that bridge. There's that class, class A up in there.
and Melody and I are snowbirding about half the snowbird season in uh, the lower Rio Grande Valley in Texas. We're making our way back up north and uh, we've been to a lot of free campsites and I'll tell you this one this one's not bad at all. You got some scenery it's right off of the interstate you have facilities, you have garbage There were some porta potties about in the center of the park, but I don't know whether those are permanent or whether those are for construction workers. There's that campsite I'm standing in right now. I'll give you a look back at it. This is the what you're gonna run into. My rig is 13 1 my 37 foot fifth wheel so uh, yeah that would definitely be a concern for me so if you have a bigger rig approaching from the northbound is not what you want to do because you're going to run into I guess you have your choice the 10 foot clearance or the 12.6 clearance but you don't need to go out that way if you come in the way I did, you'll go right back out. In fact, you can just turn right at that stop sign, avoid that underpass, and that's going to put you right back on the interstate, heading southbound on, you, on uh, Interstate 37. So here's a look back. This is the first campsite you come to if you were uh, coming underneath that low clearance bridge direction. And uh, there's the Class A, and as it wraps around the last campsite is where that fifth wheel is. So I don't know if there were 20 sites here or not. I'm going to count them, and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts uh, when I get to the other end. Well, it appears there are more campsites that go up that way. I thought it was just parking area for like passenger vehicle cars, but those must be campsites as well, right where, where they have those trees stacked up across from there. And uh, here are the porta potties they have set up. And I assume this would be another campsite right here. And back there is that first fifth wheel that I had spotted when I came in. I think I'm going to leave it here. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. I'll also have the grid coordinates for this free camping location in the written video description as well. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.